what we're gonna do in order to get ourselves kick in order to kickstart our characters uh, into character, this is going to be like a, this doesn't have anything to do with the story. This didn't happen, but we're going to do a little confessional thing. The question is going to be so, and this doesn't apply to uh, to Janice's character. Um, what is your character's opinion on the flying squirrel at this point? <laughs> uh, and then Janice, your character will be. What do you think the party thinks about the flying squirrel at this point? <laughs> All right, so everybody take a minute, and then you'll talk in character. Uh, and this will be like confessional, as in like you know, well, it was kind of strange when he showed up, but you know, that kind of thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so everybody take a moment, and we'll kickstart our RP. Uh, the appearance of this uh, quote unquote flying squirrel uh, really has me worried. Not because I'm worried about him. He he's a moron. He couldn't even carry a crossbow up a tree. <laughs> fucking horrible squirrel uh what has me worried is the fact that the people i'm traveling with are stupid enough to believe that it's someone new <laughs> like that's the intelligence of the people around me i like if if my fucking mentor knew the people that i kept company with in his absence he, he would he would stop teaching me just he he would kick me the fuck out he showed up you know i i i seem to Seem to recognize him from some, some some sort, but I can't really place my finger on it. However, he did come out of the trees, so honestly, I think he might be a ghost from the wilderness. I'm just, I just want to know where Bruce is. For <laughs> 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 quite some time, and this flying squirrel, I'm a little worried that the flying squirrel had something to do with Bruce's disappearance. <laughs> well, so far, things seem to be going pretty well. But, uh, there was that one asshole who wouldn't throw me my crossbow. <laughs> I, I know, I know he heard me. I said it like five times. So, this one's for you, asshole. Watch you. <laughs> Okay. You have all, like I said, you you slain these uh, kobolds outside of this layer and discovered these runes here. Um, I'll I'll just go ahead and just describe this scene real briefly again. Um, there is this large waterfall. It's it's a uh, it, the water's falling about fifteen feet uh, from an opening to the map <clears throat> from uh, from an opening there in. Uh, in the side of a mountain. It's kind of a cliff area there. And um, as you look at it, it's kind of just a sheer cliff that goes up for, um, you know, probably uh, 150-ish feet. It's very tall. Um, and there's this this waterfall coming out of the middle of it. And you can see that there's two openings, um, one up here in the north and one down here to the south uh, that lead into this layer. Now, when you were fighting earlier, um, one of the kobolds did escape uh, here in the north and and go into the cave mouth there. All you can hear at this point is the sound of rushing water uh, from the the waterfall there, um, and everything else is quiet. What are we assuming happened to Tally's character? She's just like over uh, there, like staring at the sky. Like <laughs> she fainted at the uh, name Orcus. <laughs> now, at the end of uh, at We'll just say uh, towards the end of the encounter there, um, I didn't anticipate on Tally's character not being here. Um, so we're going to say that uh, <laughs> a uh, an arrow came from uh, the top of the uh, waterfall there towards the end of the co uh, end of the combat and struck her in the knee. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so uh, she is she is wounded right now, and uh, the great Amazemo is going to be trying to attend to her wounds and try to protect her. So he he states um, that uh, whatever you guys decide to do uh, is fine, but he's going to hang back and uh, try to keep her safe for now. Sing I bet she's just trying to get laid. <laughs> well, now we know what everybody thinks about the great Amazemo. <laughs> white, white knighting is not the way to go. It's going to be a dark night. <laughs> I, I think we should stick together. We're down, too. The cobalt went through the north. 
They'll be expecting us to follow it. <laughs> uh, Peter is still just going to kind of be staring at the runes. Uh, kind of like tracing in the air with his finger. Uh, not really clear if he's you know, trying to interpret them, if he's trying to memorize them, what's going on. But he's sitting there, just kind of knelt down right next to the runes. Okay. The runes are kind of... Uh, Peter is still just going to kind of be staring at the runes, uh, kind of like tracing in the air with his finger. Uh, not really clear if he's you know, trying to interpret them, if he's trying to memorize them, what's going on. But he's sitting there, just kind of knelt down right next to the runes. Okay. The runes are um, carved into the stone. They're very weathered and very old. It's hard to make out exactly what they say. Uh, you probably wouldn't have recognized it um, as uh, as or, uh, having to do with Orcus if it wasn't for the um, the ram's head that you saw that actually seems to be fairly new. I agree with the squirrel. I think that we should probably stick together. Um, we've lost two already, and from the looks of it, there's way more kobolds than we think. Um. Well, he did escape to the north, and if they're setting a trap, I say we should it. You think the best way to defeat this kobold menace is to walk straight into a trap? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I like him. It takes balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, wait, here, Zach. wait. It takes nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how do we decide to do? All right, well, it sounds like the squirrel and the... What is the orc? The orc uh, seem to be wanting to spring the trap. What do you think, Peter? Do you want to go in, or do you want to, I don't know, try a different route? Uh, Peter's going to finally get up and kind of dust off his knees and look down to the south, and he's going to just kind of stay silent for a second and be like, well... The kobold, we don't know how fast it's going or how far in it needs to go to get any kind of message off. So the north, they're expecting us. The south, they might not have any idea that we're here yet. I already said that. <laughs> hey, you said the north. <laughs> no, my first one was the south, but then I liked his idea because it has nuts. Takes nuts. Takes nuts. His <laughs> idea is nuts. nuts. <laughs> All right, well, I think I should let you guys know before we move along that uh, according to my tracking, uh, there are many, many kobold footprints as well as some larger ones, and frankly, I don't want to find out what those are, especially if it's a trap. Maybe we should go to the south. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm just going to kind of shrug my shoulders. We'll find then. Let's get moving. Let's go ahead Before and... going to the south, uh, Peter's actually going to kind of rummage around some of the corpses and then using his disguise kit, which is in fact in his inventory, he's going to put together a kobold disguise. Okay. Um, that is uh, definitely an option, although you do need to keep in mind they're about three feet tall. I'm gonna... Do we need to make an intelligence check to see if we know whether or not Peter's a kobold? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see Peter doing that and kind of follow suit. I'm going to collect any uh, any weapons that aren't spears and uh, fingers and ears and teeth. <laughs> seem to be in decent condition. Okay. There's a reason for it, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> I'm just a freak. <laughs> Peter's going to see him gather and show while he's putting his disguise together and he's going to say, see if you can find any of those uh, fire pot things that they had earlier. Fire pots, yeah, good idea. The one that was uh, that was throwing the pots um, actually uh, was shot and stumbled back into the uh, the water here. Um, is anyone searching? Who, who is looking for this stuff? Well, I was already scavenging... Uh for swords and shit, so I imagine I'll go ahead and 
take a look for that too, since Peter over there is trying to bark orders. <laughs> okay, so the um, the kobold is, his body's just kind of floating there uh, with all of his things, and um, you kind of take a couple steps out in the water. It's it's only about uh, maybe four uh, to six inches deep um, where he's at, and you um, you find two clay pots that are there that are approximately the size of a uh, maybe like a uh, probably like, about t twice the size of a softball, and um, they seem to be sticky on the outside of them. I don't know if these will still work. They were in the water. <laughs> uh, you will take four damage as a javelin um, comes out of the waterfall there uh, from up above and uh, kind of grazes your arm. Ow! Into the, into the sand there next to the... All right, I'm going to run to the south. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And as I'm running, I'm hit, I'm hit, um, they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Did we, can we see? Yeah, we're just getting that way. Can you see what? A cobalt up there, or? Uh, you saw some, some little eyes that kind of uh, were up there and just kind of popped down after the spear came out. Okay, so you guys kind of gather along um, that southern entrance there. Um, it, it opens up... Um, Probably about uh, it's about six feet, um, so just just big enough. You might have to duck your head depending on how tall you are, um, but you can see the um, the darkness. Um, you can see the outside light kind of shining in um, a little ways uh, into this this area here, um, but. Um, The entrance is kind of dim, and uh, the smell of earth enters your nose um, as you kind of see a, s a short path uh, covered in small reptilian tracks leading a little bit deeper into the entrance there. I'll take point. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and sneak along the path a little ways, I guess, to maybe right there. Okay. There's... As you enter, you can, um, you can hear the sounds of... Uh, of many uh, small feet um, and small creatures kind of moving around. You, um, the lighting is a mixture of the outside lighting, uh, the natural light, as well as uh, some f flickering uh, from some kind of uh, flame light source from inside. Uh, screams, shouts, and cries of alarm reverberate throughout the torch-lit hollow. Um, and as you turn the corner, you hear a shriek um, as as three kobolds uh, around the corner and sprint towards you. Oh, fuck. And this would be their readied action at the same thing. And one of them is going to jab at you with his spear. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> and I am bloodied. And the other two approach you in the same manner. And we'll roll a six on an attack and an 18. So that's one hit. Um, you also, um, actually, I will let you uh, make an attack because as soon as you said that you were going to take a shot whenever you saw something. So you can make an attack against one of them as they approach you if you'd like to. So you're kind of around in the corner and you saw them and you can take a shot if you'd like. Uh, all right. I guess I will pop a shot at uh one of the ones. I'll pop the shot at the southern one here. <laughs> Wheel of misfortune. <laughs> God damn it! What is wrong with you today? Wheel of misfortune. It's gonna Good be enough. a bad day. <laughs> I'm dying You're today. Lying. The Wheel of misfortune. All right, you got a 59 on the Wheel of Misfortune. A 59 is you lost the grip of your weapon. You drop the weapon and are dazed until the end of your next round. Okay, I'm going to duck around behind the blind squirrel. <laughs> and uh, 
just throw a kick right to uh right to his the cobalt's chest and try to push him back away a bit. Okay. Um, so go ahead and roll your damage for it. So you catch him with a kick, and then um, as the other cobalt's pull him back, his thing you just kind of get a solid hit on the side of his face there, and he's gonna kind of and squeal in pain and just kind of back away. I'm nursing his wound there. All right, I am going to use my Iron Wolf charge to run in and attack this beefy motherfucker right here. Take my minor action to use my healing word on Douche Nugget Squirrel over here. I'm going to place my hand on him and say Dakota. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he kind of places his hand on you and says his healing word. <laughs> and um, you can uh, you feel one of the spear wounds just kind of close itself up and you kind of get a warm uh, sensation that kind of washes over your body from where his hand was. You're welcome. You're next to the Thanks. Wolf. It sounds like he pissed on him. <laughs> 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 Alrighty. Guy right here. Um, so he kind of, he blocks Sin's attack over with his spear after getting jaw jacked. Um, and is going to turn to Cronus. And will jab a spear at him. In turning mm -hmm. to stab him, he takes a step forward and uh, a loose rock slips. And he falls to the ground um, at both of your feet. Just kind of... He's kind of scrambling, He's trying to get back up. Um, then the uh, the one at the top here will take a shot at uh, at you as well, Cronus. In looking down and you know letting out a slight chuckle at the uh, kobold that fell in front of you, uh, you do catch uh, a spear wound uh, to your ribs on the left side. And he kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Peter is going to move one, two, three, four, and uh, pop his curse off on the dude in the middle, and uh, then wave his staff, which he acquired the day between journeying. He's going to wave his staff, and uh, from the tip of it, the ethereal green of his eldritch flames are going to kind of spring to life as he does or attempts to do a uh, an echoing dirge. So the one at the top you will hit. This one. And you will push him. Um, he's actually going to fly off screen and slam into a, a wall there. <laughs> and he, he will die. So he's kind of yeah, he kind of grabs his head for a second and then just flies backwards and just cracks his head. Just kind of whimpers a little bit as he slides down the wall there. Um, you all do hear some movement um, in this 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 vicinity up here, up the hallway. Um, as you hear little feet kind of padding their way that way. I'm going to shift over here behind Cronus. Okay. And as you do that, the... Uh, Cobalt is going to shift forward after you. Shift, so nobody gets in tech of Fuck that guy. So he shifts forward. And he looks over his shoulder and starts yelling backwards. What's he yelling? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, he's looking at Bruce, so I'm just going to kind of... Uh, uh, pull it back as far as I can throw a couple elbows into his face and then a knee right to his throat. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. <laughs> so he just kind of and just kind of slides across the ground towards Bruce. And Cronus, you are up and um, as you as he falls to the ground, you hear um, some more screaming coming from the northeast there where um, You see um, some more kobolds appear. I ain't fucking scared. And they move forward towards you. I 
I am going to take just a teensy step forward. And I'm going, and I'm going to ready reap the harvest for if any of these fuckers want to try anything. If they want to hit you, they, they, are, hit moving, you. they are moving towards you right now. Like running. If like they want to try me, is what I'm saying. If they want to fucking try me. So what is your trigger? So what is your trigger? What? What is your trigger? My trigger will be... If they want to fucking try me. If they want to <laughs> fucking try me. Um, so next, they're going to fucking try you. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear uh, the screaming and, right and <laughs> as they charge in towards you. Oh, they tried me. They tried me. They, they tried did. Me. They and they are just stacking up here. So I'm going to need some backup. I'm going to need some backup. <laughs> I'm gonna need some backup. All right, and uh, I'm gonna roll some attacks against you. <laughs> yes. Well, it's a charge. Will an 18 hit? Yeah. That's not a charge. Yeah, <laughs> it's a charge. Charged in from here. Will that hit? Yeah, that'll hit. Four. Okay. Another one plus two. <laughs> Ooh, oh, god damn. Well, damn. four damage is what they do, so I'm going to actually make that six damage. Okay. Fucking try me, dude. <laughs> and that won't hit! <laughs> All right. <laughs> so stab, stab, and, and you reeling backwards, your your shield knocks one of them out of the way. Now, they did hit you. Would you like to cast your spell? Yeah, you goddamn right I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to swing it at whoever it hits. <laughs> well... You gotta pick one. Uh, that one. Which one hit me? Which one didn't hit me? The top one didn't hit you. The top one didn't hit me. This one. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna stab this one in the throat. Okay. Real hard. Yeah. So you knock it out of the way, and being the only one that, or one of the ones that hit you, uh, you knock out the middle one, and then you just kind of use that motion. <laughs> And just, and you pull it out, and blood kind of slings across the wall behind you. And he falls down, dead. Um, now, now, their turn wasn't over, and he is immediately replaced by the one behind him. <laughs> and then a javelin is going to cruise, uh, sail through the air uh, towards Brylock. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 14, I don't believe, will hit Brylock. No. So, um, Brylock's going to. And it's going to clank against the wall behind him. And they're all screaming and yelling. And you can hear more movement behind them. I think the rush in us. <laughs> Great fucking observation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so one, two, three, four. Uh, Peter's going to finally move out of his hiding spot. And uh, he, he's hunched over, and I guess I'm using my standard action to try and make, like, a bluff check. Uh, he, he's going to kind of wave his staff around and make odd noises like he's trying to get their attention to stop their attacking. Okay. Um, in a cobalt suit? Correct. Brown human in a cobalt suit. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and so as you're doing this, and you're waving and, and trying to get this stuff, um, a, a javelin cruises out of the darkness behind them. And hits you in the throat. Will a 10 hit you? Nope. Okay, so it, it cruises by and kind of catches some of your your uh, disguise there and rips it off um, and clanks against the wall behind you. And you're pretty sure you didn't convince anybody. <laughs> I will bet for my minor action, I'm now going to... What's the closest? Uh, this dude right here gets cursed. Okay. Silver mist. <laughs> Kill that thing, guys. So I'm going to move here, obviously. Use my minor action to pick up my crossbow. And you said you can use this, the action points to get an extra standard action, right? Correct. Okay, I'm going to use... You'd have to use a minor action to reload it. Wait, did you say I get a an extra action for being awesome earlier? 
You get to re-roll a oh, roll oh. for being awesome. Well, what you could have used that. I should have used that when I had the natural one. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna use an action point then, so I can uh, reload the crossbow and also pop off a. Uh... These guys don't look that tough, so I have a feeling if I do that, I'll kill them. Um, I'll pop off a gloaming cut at okay. uh, this guy right here in the back. Because I think anything else, and I'm gonna end up shooting Cronus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> so I'm gonna move here, obviously. Use my minor action to pick up my crossbow. Um, I'll pop off a gloaming cut at okay. uh, this guy right here in the back. Because I think anything else, and I'm gonna end up shooting Cronus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> So I'm just gonna pop that mother, bow right in the fucking face. <laughs> you just, you probably just, I, I can see you just kind of running up and kicking up your crossbow to yourself and yeah. pulling it back with a bolt already loaded, <laughs> and just bah. That's that's some leg last shit. The, the flying squirrel's not that good yet. Orc, <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm gonna need your assistance, or I will perish very soon. Um. My spinning leopard attack, where I hit oh, every adjacent. Okay. And I go button. Sure. Yeah. So you will shift. Um, you shift up to your speed, and you will make uh, attacks against everyone you pass. That's all but one. Nice. All right. Well, I'm just gonna bolt through this first one right with. Thirteen Damn. damage. Yeah. So you'll. Well, you only hit one of them, so you only get to roll the damage once. That was the one in the back. So uh, okay. So that guy, and then I can use my uh, the sundering hand. I think I'm gonna go for the one right here. Okay. So you kind of roll past them and and dodging underneath their attacks, and um, you kind of. Uh, hit him. Um, uh, you kind of hit him in the back of the head, and he crumples forward. And you dodge underneath an attack from the the second one, and then you know, <laughs> kind of slide down and kick the last one's legs up from under him, and just kind of come down with a karate chop. As you turn the corner up here, um, you can see um, three more kobolds off to the east here. I'm not going to reveal it because I don't want everybody to see it. Um, so. You can uh, choose to share that information or not. Uh, yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna kind of turn back, be like, uh, "We need to finish these guys off. We got more over here to the east." All right, I'm gonna take my standard action to stab the fuck out of this guy with reap the harvest. Okay. Okay. And that is against AC. Yeah. That will not hit. Oh, I don't know why it rolled twice. Sorry. All right, and then I'm gonna shift. Huh? So he's gonna duck under here, here. Oh, and use my minor action to heal myself. Okay. okay. As, As you, you shift, shift back, back, these two, two kobolds shift in. I'm not afraid of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna heal yourself. Yeah. Should be six plus seven. My ceiling word this time is Garthrop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Peter and um, Bruce, you uh, hear some sounds from behind you. And. <laughs> <laughs> As you turn around to look, um, um, this attack will go against Peter. Damn. Uh, you'll take six damage from a javelin that cruises in from behind you. And um, this one will go against the flying squirrel. Does not hit. All right. So you dodge, and then you see um, two more kobolds appear from behind you. Two more big ones. 
Yeah. <laughs> and you're not you're not uh you don't think that those javelins came from those kobolds. And they are going to come in and one of them is going to swing at the dog. Anthony. Like I give a fuck. <laughs> and will I assume hit um uh, yeah, we'll hit for 60. <laughs> So he's going to stab your dog, and it's going to... And the other Dude. one will swing his spear at Peter. And crit again. Yeah. For uh, eight damage. Fuck. Um, Bloodied. All right. Uh, the other two that are right in front of uh, Cronus, one will attack you with his spear. 17 hit. Yes, it does. Just enough. And you will take four. I'm sorry. I'm Cronus, aren't I? Yeah. And the other one <clears throat> is now flanked. We'll take an attack against uh, Cronus as well. Bring it on. We'll crit. And do six damage. God damn it. We're going to die. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> we are going to die. Peter is next, followed by Bruce. Peter is fucking pissed, and uh, <clears throat> this dude in front of him that just uh, clipped him is um, casting a spell right to... in front of somebody. Will do a uh, attack of opportunity. So, just so you know. Shift. Does my minor action curse count? Curse does not count. Uh, so yeah, he throws the curse up on this dude. Then he shifts back, and I'm going to uh, Peter. Peter's gonna kind of stare at him, and that that anger is just gonna fill his eyes with uh, the fell green fire as he uh, attempts to assault the dude's mind with. I So he is bloodied. And I'm invisible to him. Yeah, so go ahead and explain how your eye bite works. That looks. Uh, so, yeah, just the, the glare, just his eyes fill with green fire, and uh, the kobold would like feel the mental assault, and uh, as the damage and the curse go off, Peter would just kind of like. I guess best way to describe it, he'd look like he'd kind of get got caught in a heat haze, and then he's just gone. All right. So the cobalt's going to kind of start grabbing his head like that and start slamming his hand against his head. Um, as, I'm going to As the cobalt's close in on you. Back here behind Cronus. And then I'm going to pop off a uh, probing strike <clears throat> at this guy. Okay. Your um, bolt is going to stick out of his shoulder here, and he's going to um, kind of ah, try to pull it out with his teeth. All right, I'm going to use my uh, minor action to reload. Okay. I'm going to yell over to Peter after seeing the robes and be like, eh, eh, eh. like this. Yell over to Peter. Uh, hey, Peter, I think there might be more of those, uh, those damn magic users up here. Use your help. He's not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's hey, obviously not going to gonna answer. To the north of you, you see um, an opening here, and you can hear the sound of rushing water to your left. I'm going to trigger um, Dragon Tail. They add a line of sight, but if they start engaging um, anybody else in the party, then I'm going to use my uh, Dragon Tail. Okay. I'm going to Iron Wolf charge this guy. Okay. So, attack of opportunity is you leave the square next to this guy. Ten? Okay. <laughs> nice. Boring. And that is against the one right here. Yeah. Okay. So you hit him for 12, so you're going to kill him. Push the other one back. Two. Okay, 
so he can he moves up against that wall. And I'll let you roll a d4 and see how much damage he takes against the wall. And my misty step back to base, so I'm gonna go one, two, three. Move right there. You're in a wall. Yeah, you are in a wall. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I did not realize that was a wall. Uh, one, two, three. I'm right there now. <laughs> okay. So you kill that guy and you knock the other one back. And as you enter the cave mouth there, you can see uh, two of the smaller kobolds down the trail there. That seem to be readying some more javelins. Now you all hear... Um, a harsh bleeding horn heralds the appearance of a burly battle-scarred goblin. Um, the kobolds seem afraid. Uh, when they see him coming. And he has a great uh, tattoo depicting a skeletal ram's head on the side of his face. He wears a wolf fur cloak and a chain shirt, and he wields a battle axe from both hands. So you all would hear the sound, but only Brylock would see him coming around the corner there. Sucks to be you. <laughs> <laughs> so you all heard just a burder, burder kind of thing, and all the kobolds are kind of like Looking around, they seem a little bit terrified to hear that. And then, um, Brylock, you're kind of you know hunched around that corner, and then you hear some footsteps behind you, and turn around, and you see this goblin with the the ram, the skeletal ram on the side of his face, and he's got this big uh, battle axe, and he's just kind of walking like a badass. He's not running or anything; just kind of. He's a, he's a goblin. He's got green skin. He's kind of a humanoid size, so he's smaller than you, but he's as big as the rest of your party, probably. Ah, so he can see me then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he can. Uh, the kobolds here, take their actions. Um, these two back here. Um, one of them is going to chunk a javelin at Cronus. 23 hit. Jesus fucking Christ. We're all going to die. How you doing, Cronus? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Um, and the other one, um, no, the other one is actually, um, he's going to kind of come, uh, he's going to disappear into these, these woods right here. I'm going to make him have a stealth check. Um, yeah, so he tries to, uh, wade into the woods back there, but Cronus, you can obviously see where he's at. He's right there. <laughs> um, this guy right here will take a step forward. No, I'm not entering it. Um, and we'll swing at you with his spear as well. Stab at you. 17. Three damage. And these will each take an attack on you two. So this is for Peter. And, and I, I'm sorry, that nope. wasn't for Peter. That was for the flying squirrel. This is for Peter. <laughs> sorry. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry about your Peter. You'll take four damage. As he rips into your cloak. I'm bloody. I gathered that. I've uh, been bloody. I'm at eight health. I got nine. That one uh, turns the corner there, and these uh, continue to move forward. He doesn't. He can't. They can't see anybody to attack. So, Brelock, you would see that these guys turn the corner here if you'd like to take an opportunity or not. I'm gonna look at Peter as these things are coming up on us. Like, we need to fall back. <laughs> um, dude in front of me is getting cursed. Oh fuck. Um, I told you the intensity was stepping up. I'm gonna use my move action. Alright, that will be a check of opportunity. Um, no. Uh, <laughs> He's having some issues over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see no way of surviving this, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and swing my staff. You can, you I also do have second, second wins, wins everybody. Okay. Standard action. Standard action, you can use a healing spirit to make the next round. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that, so I get plus six health. Yep, 
So you'll use uh, you'll take your standard action, but you will get a healing surge, and you'll get plus two to defense on your next turn. I'm also going to then use my action point and swing my staff as I attempt to get uh, fiery green to spring up around these two cursed fuckers in front of us. Hopefully, in an echoing dirge. Against will. Uh, that will not work. And that's actually going to be an eight against the one in front of me because of my prime shot. Okay. Uh, if that makes any difference. I won't hit. Fuck. All right. And a move action. Um, or not, take it if you don't want to. Me, jackass. Yeah, I'm going to take a move action and kind of throw myself over into this corner. Okay. All right. This is a wall. Are we feeling desperate yet? This is a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, I hope you have AOE to kill the two in front of us. I don't. Um... Fuck me. All right, I'm going to use uh, my move action to shift... It's right here. Okay. I'm going to pop a shot off at this guy uh, using Gloaming Cut. I will hit. Alright, nice. that's a minion, so he's dead no matter what, right? He is dead. Even though I got another natural fucking one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, and that activates my Misty Step, and I'm going to Misty Step Boom. over here. Boom, very right. good. And with the very Gloaming good. Cut, I get to shift <laughs> over here, and Arcalius, you're fucking welcome. I'm going to slowly enter to the center of the room. Okay. You can move up to your speed. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my back to this waterfall. Unless, just in case I got to, like, go back out that way. Because this guy is going to kick my ass. Mitch, that would be pretty incredible. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very cool. Uh, if you're back to it, all of a sudden, 20 kobolds rush in because we're all fucking dead anyway. <laughs> All right. What, Go ahead. Um, what what did you say it was? An elf? Who? Uh, this dude goblin. up here. That is a goblin. And you goblin. didn't get to take your ready to action, so I'll let you have another standard action on your next turn. Or your next combat. Or right now. Um, I'm just going to yell out to the yeah, goblin. Uh... Goblin, what is this place? He's gonna go. <laughs> it is your grave. <laughs> so definitely not friendly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not. He's kind of like hitting his <laughs> giant axe handle against his other hand as he approaches. Uh, so you fancy yourself a fighter, I I assume. More of an executioner. Scotland <laughs> is so spending an awfully lot of time talking. <laughs> <laughs> He's witty for a goblin. You have to give him that. Shoot him. Shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he disconnected. <laughs> That's what it looked like. It was like <laughs> <laughs> executioner indeed. Ah. Uh, I'm just going to look at the goblin and say, uh, as you can see, I am unarmed. Um, do you think you're strong enough to need to roll like a charisma check on that or something? Strong enough to what? To fight without your weapon. <laughs> you can make a charisma check, yeah. I would say the DC is... Roll a one. Please roll a no, one. We'll make it 13. Is the DC. Rack charisma. Please <laughs> roll a one. I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> he uh, he kind of growls at you, and uh, takes his axe and just kind of slams it into the floor there. 
um, <clears throat> and says, uh, I will kill you with my bare hands then. <laughs> now you have you have fucked up now. I didn't know goblins had bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> ah! And starts to run. Time to get real. I'm gonna use vexing overgrowth, my daily action, on this dude. Against AC? It doesn't fucking matter, does it? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. No, it didn't matter. But I'm the DM. Uh, and you don't talk to me like that. <laughs> and I'm going to use my action point to get my doggy to bite him. Okay. So, as I pull my spear back, it lights up a yellow glow. And as I shoot it forward, a little trail of yellow follows behind it. I stab him in the chest and I say, Anthony, kill! And he jumps up and grabs him by the neck, tears him down to the ground, and... <laughs> and blood slings back and forth and all over you. Um, and I am going to use my move action okay. to get the fuck over here. You're going the wrong way. We need to run. <laughs> Listen, there's bad guys everywhere, dude. I'm just trying to hide. Steps forward, stabs uh, Peter in the leg with a spear for four damage. And cackles. Fuck this dude. <laughs> with his big reptilian teeth. Oh my god. We're dead. I'm bloodied again. This, this one right here will step forward to. There, what's his speed? So, one, two, three, four. Okay. So he steps to here and will swing at the puppy dog. Kill him. I'll go fuck. Crit. <laughs> so, eight damage. Goodbye, Anthony. <laughs> okay, so while he was tearing into his friend, he just dies. <laughs> He pulls it back. <laughs> Not he the just dog. Oh, I don't he have just, my. He, he stabs and then looks over creepily at uh, the flying squirrel and goes, "Dinner." <laughs> they approach from this way. One of them looks up, takes one step <laughs> towards Brylock, sees the goblin, turns back around. <laughs> <laughs> And starts moving this way. The wizard Ooh. steps forward and can now see you all. And he is going to Time. he is going to send a bolt of energy towards you. And um, against your reflex, will that twenty three hit? I'm guessing guess. Yeah, definitely. You'll take twelve damage. Fuck you. Ow. So boom it blasted. <laughs> Not yet. I'm very, very fucking close. And he just... <laughs> Six, right? I have four. <clears throat> um, and then this goblin right here is going to run at you, Brutek. Brutek. <laughs> Brylock. So as he approaches you, how do you handle this? Uh, well, he's kind of coming at me in a rage. Yeah. You know, flailing his arms doesn't seem to have too much technique with combat. Um, so I'm basically just going to, uh, you know, like grab both of his arms as he's flailing him and then just kick him in the chest, knock him back a couple feet. Okay. So you do kick him in the chest. You feel the hard, uh, chain mail underneath as he, he does stumble uh, a step back, uh, but he doesn't even seem phased. He seems like, like that just kind of threw, like, like it, it, it was enough to push him back, but it didn't really hurt him. He just kind of grins at you and just kind of. Start shifting around crazily. Peter is going to shift back here. And then... Uh, this dude is getting marked with a curse. So that's... Okay. These two are marked with a curse. Um...
then yeah, I'm gonna swing my I'm... staff and try and hit those two with my echoing dirge. Son of a bitch. But I get a prime shot on them, so that's eight for both of them. Which probably doesn't make a fucking difference. Um, it does not make a fucking difference. So you are pretty rattled at this point. You're kind of stepping over bodies, and you have some blood just kind of staining your clothes, and, and you make a wild strike at this uh, kobold, but uh, it doesn't seem to even face him, as they they are um, still uh, closing in on all of you. All right, so I'm just I'm going to kind of loud enough for these two bias to hear say... Uh, I don't know if we're making it out of this one. Moving into these trees over here. And I'm going to pop a gloaming cut on that guy. Pop we'll him in the him. fucking face. Shift two. And roll for stealth to conceal myself in the trees. Okay. You do see one that seems to be crouched down in that foliage right there. Um, okay. But he's, he's watching you and you duck into the trees and then he's kind of... All right. Um... Well, then I'm going to use my dragon tail attack. I'm going to move up to him. Use my dragon tail attack. Try to knock him prone. Oh, I pushed him back. He's a little, he seemed a little staggered. So I just kind of uh, took one of my feet and just swept it right around his ankles and knocked his ass on his ass. <laughs> so when knock his ass, ass falls on awesome. his ass, he uh, <laughs> kind of... Ah! Ah, and he falls down and, and lands on the ground. And he goes, you, you tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of go back into my stance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So his, uh, I'm just going to put a little ugly looking icon, but his axe is on the ground right here. By the way, I used my second wind to heal myself for seven. I'm going to yell through the caves in hopes that the orc can hear me. And I'm going to say, orc, orc, escape while you can. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going I'm to yell, run, run, my Cronus, move. run. <laughs> I'm going to use my move action. Two, four. And I'm going to get up in these trees here. I think you just left Peter there to die. Because so, aren't the kobolds here. next? <laughs> As everybody starts moving out... Um, I don't even see Peter. Where is Peter? He's standing I'm on, on a, a dead corpse. kobold right there. He's uh, about six uh. feet under. Uh, <laughs> the kobolds begin <laughs> to move in. To be. Sorry about you. Started with this minion here that will take a step forward and stab at you with his spear. <laughs> Peter's going to shout out Orcus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I assume that will miss. Yes. Um, okay. This uh, kobold here moves beside you. I'm gonna move this dead dog out of the way. Now, is that a, that an attack of opportunity? That will be an uh, that will be an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Fuck oh, yes. Just a melee, so, just, uh... just a melee basic attack. So he kind of goes there, and you just jaw jack him, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Just move backwards like holy shit that worked <laughs> <laughs> as the uh, kobolds over here start moving in the ones with the big shields and uh, this this wizard in the back is uh, is yelling at them um, but they don't shoot any spells down towards you the one at the top um, the guy will attempt to uh, Brylock he will attempt to sweep your feet out from under you so he kind of swing, he kind of swings his feet around, and you just kind of step over. You don't even jump. You're just like, nah, not today, bitch. <laughs> As he growls at you and uh, starts crawling back um, towards his uh, his axe, there it's on the ground. All right, um, this dude is getting marked with a curse. I'm swinging my staff and an echoing dirge and I get prime shot on both of those. So that's an 11. 11 against Will? Yep. Okay. Um, you will hit one of them and not the other. So you will hit this little baby one. 
All right, so uh, the the shadows around him just suddenly flare green and wrap up around him, and he just kind of you see his form wither as uh, the slightest hint of silver mist flows into this tree. <laughs> Very good, uh, Bruce. All right, I'm going to pop returning fire at this guy with a gloaming cut. Okay. And who's Bruce? Don't you dare! Right, it's the flag squirrel. Okay. That will hit. Yeah. So your arrow cruises into the darkness there, and um, you're gonna catch the the guy in the robes um, right in the upper abdominal, just kind of rib area, just and he's gonna double over and yell out in pain. Ah! Kill right. them! All right. Can I make a uh, like a strength check as he's trying to crawl towards his axe to uh, pull him towards this waterfall? Fucking drowning! <laughs> <laughs> you can try. Yeah, do, 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 and he's gonna make an opposed strength check. Drown that fucker! <laughs> you got an eighteen. Oh shit. Dun 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 Hurry up and fucking roll. Dun 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 You don't even shit my pants, dude. Come on. I know, right? The anticipation kills. So as you try to grab his ankle, he just kicks your hands away. He says No, cheater! Trick or cheat, trick or cheater. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move up right here. Try to block in between him and his sword. Okay. Are you going for the sword, or are you just trying to stand in the way? Ah, uh, for now, I'm just trying to stand in the way. Okay. You should have picked that shit up. <laughs> Aha, I got your eggs. <laughs> that's what I would have done. Shit. Right. You can try to grab it if you'd like to. If you don't, that's can I? Can I kick it to the side? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna try to kick it over here to the side. Where are you kicking it to? There. Okay. So we'll move it right there. So you kick it, and it just kind of slides across the floor. <laughs> and the goblin he yells, continues you fucking to fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Cheater. Iron Wolf charge. Okay. That <laughs> An 11 will not hit. Trying to kill everything on the way out. So you come storming through the trees there, and... Uh, you hit a tree. Yeah. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, you, you, so you start, you know, yelling and stuff. And he sees you coming, and he uh, he ducks underneath you, and um, just kind of growls at you. And he says, How did you find me? <laughs> The trees have spoken. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. And he is going to swing his spirit. Twelve. No. No? No. <laughs> oh, wait. Will a 13 hit? Because it was a charge. This, by the way. No, it wouldn't have. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. So those two uh, shielded ones. I'm going to move this trash out of the way. So those two with the large spears, here, with trash. large shields, are moving up there. <laughs> Anthony was trash. And the wizard is going to appear behind them. And um, let's roll his perception real quick. Is holding his own, beating the shit out of that goblin in there. Nineteen. Um, I don't believe that he outrolled either one of your stealth checks, did it? Mine was a twenty-seven, so I doubt it. Oh wait, no. Peter just moved into the trees. Yeah, he didn't stealth. Yeah, that's silver misted. Right. Okay. So he um. Yeah. So he's he's gonna only be able to to see Peter there behind some trees, and he's gonna shoot an orb at you. That sucks. I'm sorry, but can he see me too? Can you roll to see if he sees me? No, nah, cause you. Well, actually, technically. Yeah. He can. All right. So, uh, even or odds? Somebody take it. Even. 
Even it is. You earned the orb. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Nine against That's reflex. That's fucking teamwork. Nope. Yep. Okay, Fuck so, you. Us, so above you, uh, a tree just kind of <laughs> explodes and splinters shoot out. I'm going to turn around and glare. And the top <laughs> half of the tree falls down away from you and crashes. Next up will be this goblin. We'll stand up. Ah, stand mute yourself. <laughs> he will stand up and attempt to punch you. <laughs> is standing up a standard action? It's his move action. 21 hits you. <laughs> I'm a monk, I don't wear armor. And he will do 4 damage to you. Lucky you. You punch like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, says, Gotcha now! <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna use my movement. I'm coming out of the trees now. That fucker's getting cursed. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to uh, extra damage. I'm going to point my staff towards the caster in the back there, and uh, yeah, the area around Peter is just gonna kind of darken as he summons up what is most definitely his most terrifying power hopefully fingers fucking crossed singing what attack is this this is my daily ability curse of dark dream okay that is a hit i mean fuck yes <laughs> that darkness is just going to kind of it's going to look like Peter's shadow stretches out towards this uh, caster in the back, and then it's going to just kind of crawl up him, and he's going to just be covered by, like, a, a dull shade. And he's going to get slid. One, two. He's going to get slid over here into this mass of corpses. Okay. And uh, the damage, I guess, is going to come from just... Uh, like like a, a green pulse of fire is just going to kind of shoot up around him as all that happens. Very good. Very good. So he just kind of... And disappears into the darkness back there. Yelling and cursing in Draconic. Bruce. Flying squirrel. Flying squirrel. Okay. I'm going to take my second win then. And that gives me the equivalent of one of the... Uh, health charges, right? Healing surges. Yep. Healing surge, and okay. plus two to all defenses for the next round. Okay, so for my move action, Shit, I'm going to kind of try and sneak back through the trees and fall back to this point right here. There's my stealth move roll. Alright, I'm going to use my crane swing attack again on this motherfucker. That will not hit. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ducks and I kick. He if I miss, I, that. if I miss, I can't use my second attack, right? Correct. Okay. So he ducks underneath you. I've got you figured out now. So next will be Kronos. Please kill him. 16 against AC. Yeah. Hit. He's dead, so. And I'm gonna scamper. Silver missed the fuck away. <laughs> I'm gonna scamper to. Six. <laughs> Hide behind the warlock. I do right. not make a good. Just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you scampered over there. Um, the guy that you're fighting up here, uh, make a opposed strength check against me, Brylock. <laughs> you're about to get whooped. <laughs> dun, 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 nice, dun, dun, that's dun, funny. Dun, dun. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. 
Um, All right, so he lunges to you trying to grab you. You're going to kind of sweep his hands this way and knock him off balance, and I'll actually let you make a melee attack against him since you critted on a resist against him. Fucking Eye of the Tiger going on up in there. (laughs) All right. (laughs) You you catch him in the jaw, (laughs) and you see a tooth fly out. Okay? He lunges to you trying to grab you, and you you hit him, and you see a, a metal tooth come out of his mouth. Just kind of and clank. Ding, 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 ding. On the ground. I fought tougher in the bars. <laughs> he spits on the ground and just, nah! and he's just coming at you with everything. Maybe. I mean, he's holding his own up there right now. The other ones will attack. He's, he's, these go back in and help the um, he is going to move. What attacks does he have, man? He's just like slowly like approaching you guys. That's what one, two, three, four. So right here, he's gonna oh, move on top of that corpse, and then he's gonna move to right there. Yeah. Um, and then you see, uh, you just kind of see the wizard poke his head around the corner there, but he doesn't attack. Next is Peter, followed by the flying squirrel. I remember this. Before. Before Peter acts, he's going to say, uh, cover me. Or not cover me. He's going to say, try and keep him off me. And uh, he's going to use my minor action to uh, make uh, make this robed fucker here slide up one. That's right. He was supposed to make a saving throw. Which I failed. <laughs> so, go ahead with what you say. So, yeah, that, that fucker slides up one, so he's in my uh, ah! line of sight. He just kind of goes, ah! Right, and then, uh, you know, that, that green is going to pulse up again. And uh, as I attempt to use my counter ability, which fire? Very nice. You hit. All right, so encounter witch fire damage. It's going to take eight damage, and that's going to look, you're just, anybody who happens to see it is going to see just his mouth and his eyes and his nostrils, that the green fire that Peter's been singing around is going to, going to like ignite inside him. And then ignite as his witch body fire takes effect. as he turns <laughs> to ash and crumbles to the ground. <laughs> You guys are surging back. You're surging back. I'm not pulling any punches here either. Okay. With that happened, I'm now going to make my move action. And uh, one, two, three, four. I'm making sure I'm safe. And that is my turn. Okay. That means it's time for the flying squirrel, right? Correct. Okay. I'm going to pop a gloaming cutoff at this guy. At uh, one of the guys that are coming towards? This one, right? The, the one on the bottom. Climbing the water. Okay. And uh, I'm going to assume that hits, right? Uh, Correct, yes. And uh, I'm going to roll stealth to remain hidden. Okay. So your arrow cruises through the trees and uh, cl- just kind of s- slices into the guy's arm. And he kind of and looks over and just kind of pats it, but he uh, he seems okay. I'm going to turn around and Iron Wolf charge this guy. So you oh, that slam didn't kill that then? No, and um, the force of your charge shoves them both back, and you will get a you stab him. In the chest with, uh, with. I stabbed your... you first. And he slides backwards, and he, um, he's bloodied now. <sighs> yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna try to use my. Um... Damn it, where'd it go? My dragon tail attack again. <laughs> she's listening to that. I don't know. Janice, turn that shit off. You wouldn't hear it if I was listening enough. to it. Peter. Peter. All right, so that will yes. not hit. Why are you listening to it? 
that my shit's muted. I don't even have music going on. That's why Zach can't hear us because his fucking music is playing. <laughs> <laughs> is that a hit or no? That will not that hit. One short. This one is going to charge forward and try to strike you. Bring it on, bitch. Bonus. Bring it on, bitch. Swings a short sword at you and clangs off of your, off of your shield. Same right, time, this one rounds the trees here and comes in at Peter. Minus two on this attack roll. Twenty-four. <laughs> and does four oh, damage. Oh no! Down goes Peter. Down goes Peter. Is he going down? Oh, Peter's at six. No. <laughs> he slices into you again, and you have taken more hits than. Then you believe that you should have. You're oh, bleeding. Motherfuckers going down. I don't know what colors your robes were, but they're red now. Well, I'm going to shift over to the axe and uh, draw it. Um, and that'll be the end of my turn. Should probably move my guy. All right, so you're going to pick it up? Yeah. Cool. All right, so you got an axe now. And, and as he picks it up, he says, put, put that down. That's not <laughs> yours, cheater. He kind of, he kind of <laughs> does that, and there's some blood coming down where his. Yeah, we can call it Fantasia. Put Fantasia down. <laughs> that is my only love. What the fuck? Um, it will be the Goblin of Peter's turn, who will um, lunge forward and attempt to take Fantasia from you. Bet you won't though. Strength check. Yep, another strength check against him. He rolled a fourteen. Come on, this is Zach, you got this. He's fucking jerking off with strength checks against you because you convinced him to push Oh, shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got an axe. Run, Zach, run! <laughs> he tackles you, and you both fall to the ground, and you're kind of rolling back and forth trying to pull this thing, and he yanks it out from your grasp, but you're both considered prone, um, we'll say, in that square where. But luckily, you're on top, according to the tokens. <laughs> Uh, this little sucker's getting marked with a curve. And is that behind a uh, fire? That is a torch that's on the wall. Stick in his throat. <laughs> um, I'm shifting back here. Okay. And then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fucking pissed. I got blood all up in my beard, which is like the only thing that fucking matters in the entire fucking world. So I'm, just, I'm, I'm glaring at this dude. And my eyes ignite in that uh, fell green again as I I bite the fuck out of this dude. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just, I glare at him and, and instead of me kind of wavering into the heat that makes me turn invisible, that heat wavers around him and he just kind of bursts into fire and crumples down like the other mage dude as I silver mist over here bitch. to back up the druid. Uh, Glemming cut again. As always. <laughs> Alright. 21. I'm gonna fucking blast that dude. Do my shift. Uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna just... I'm gonna mist up next to the druid now. Like, hey, what's up, buddy? You, you wanna throw some heals my way? Okay, so for my move, I'm gonna do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Moving quietly. Okay. My apologies, Peter, but at this point, I'm out of energy. I'll just rest before I can heal again. <laughs> In character, in character, none of you know what happened to him. You you saw him spinning and kicking and shit, and, and then he just the ran guys, north. And then he was gone, and you guys have no fucking idea what's happened well, to him. All right, it appears like the walk is probably gone by this time, but we must see if we can back him up. There is hope that he's still alive. <laughs> very good, very good. I've grown very fond of the orc. <laughs> okay. Can I reach and grab for that torch and attempt to uh, scald his face with it? You can try. You can definitely grab the torch off of the wall, and you can swing at him with an attack roll and see if it hits. <laughs> okay. And how would you like to use that one? How would you like to use the torch when you hit him? Um, I would assume that I'd just kind of grab it, and he's, uh, he's a righty, so he's got his axe in his right hand right now. And I'm just going to pull his left hand down and just, just basically brand it into his face. <laughs> oh, very good. Ten damage. So he's going to scream out in pain as the uh, as the torch burns the side it of his face. Yeah. Cheater! 
all you do is cheat. Does he still have the accent? Want, you want a fair fight, and you cheat. <laughs> 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 I can't do that goblin voice for very long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whose turn's next? <laughs> All right, so he is going to swing his axe at you. Twelve? That is going to be a no. So he just wildly swings his axe back and forth, and you're just like, shoom, 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 and he's just going all around you. And it sparks into the wall beside you as he kind of pushes you back into the room behind you. Which is looks kind of like that. I'm gonna sprint like Usain Bolt. All right, all right. So two move, so action. two move actions. Yeah. Double your, double your speed. There. Very nice. You run past the rogue, who's kind of like looking around the corner, and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hauling balls, and you're sitting there hiding behind the wall. Like a fat kid running to lunch. Do you say anything? No, I'm breathing too hard for that. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, you're up. And, uh, Cronus, you can hear the sounds of combat to the north from you. As you wade through these cobalt corpses, your, so. feet, your shoes splashing in the blood. Actually, you're not wearing shoes. No, I'm not. My toes. Your toes crazy. in the blood. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Peter. Peter, looking disheveled as fuck, his hair's everywhere, blood's all over, uh, that, that fire is still in his eyes, but uh, he knows that uh, he, he can't risk getting caught up there just yet with as little fucking health as he has. So uh, he's going to move into the trees and attempt to stealth. Okay. Am I able to start like resting now or anything? It, uh, for a short rest, it'd be 15 minutes, and each round is six seconds. So, yes, rest. Technically, <laughs> you're... all right. No, I'll just I'll I'll stick to the trees for now. Let's try to catch your breath for a second. Try to patch up whatever wounds you do have. Is that an option? <laughs> it's a role-playing option. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the flying squirrel. All right. Followed by Brylock. If I stealthily move here, I can shoot around the corner and get him, right? You can. Okay, so it's my stealth move. I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna see the the goblin over there. I probably can't really access. see Brylock, but I see the goblin. You see the goblin swinging wildly yeah. um, at a target there. Well, that's strange. <laughs> you don't know what he's swinging at, and um, you can just tell that he's angry. Um, I kinda, and he obviously is not concerned with you. He has no idea you're there. I kind of quietly uh, over my shoulder. Druid, there's there's a big goblin. He looks badass. <laughs> 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 and I'm going to try a uh, trick shot. Do you see any berries? <laughs> <laughs> you bounce this. So you shoot it, right? And and um, you bounce know Bounce it off that, the wall. Well, I'm getting there. So you know that... <laughs> That the shaft, haha, everyone laugh, haha, <laughs> was not made properly, and so it's kind of warped. And when you fire it, it bounces off the wall. It kind of drifts to the right, bounces off the wall, and shoots, hits the guy in the shoulder. He was not expecting this. It hits him in the shoulder, and he kind of stumbles backwards, and he's like clutching his his arm, like ah. And he said, "Cheater, how do you do this?" <laughs> And I don't think I get to now. With that, I don't get to go back into stealth. So, <laughs> and it is your turn, cheater. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna make you know one move up, try to uh, push him back again. So you would... four two is fourteen, so you'll miss by one. Damn it! So you just almost got your hit in, and he's just at the last second blocked it. And, and said, said no, no more arrows, cheater! Fight me! Right! <laughs> uh, who, who's that standing over there? The squirrel? Yeah. I'm gonna yell you probably squirrel. don't see him unless you specifically glance over there. You probably would glance over there to see, like... Arrow 
Right, what did that come <laughs> you're, smart. you're not real smart, but you're probably smart enough to know that you didn't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to be like, Squirrel, keep up the barrage. Why'd you give away my position? <laughs> squirrel? What squirrel? <laughs> I am no squirrel. I am Iron Tooth. And then he kind of looks and feels his face. Was Iron Tooth. <laughs> Sorry. Um, back on subject. Cronus? <clears throat> All right, I'm going to step. One, two, three, four, five. Drop my spear, pull out my sling, and try to make a ranged attack on this motherfucker. And miss. They leave the shooting uh, to the professionals. <laughs> fuck off. Is that an in character? Fuck off. Yeah, that was me making fun of it. <laughs> fuck off. All right. Next uh, will be Iron, Iron Tooth. Tooth or it used to be. So it's it's Zach. Zach. That's Zach. Natural, Natural one. one. We are misfortune. He loses his precious weapon. He drops his axe. <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? Fantasia. Fantasia was her name. <laughs> so he swings wildly, and it just kind of it it flies over towards the druid, and the druid actually ducks as it slams into the wall right here next to him. And he yells, Fantasia! No! Cheater, why you do this? And it just goes, and then crashes into the wall next to you. Zach's getting antsy. Still just over in the, uh, the trees there, and He's bleeding profusely, and he does not like that. So he's gonna kind of uh, rub his hands together and draw some green flames into life, and start looking at the wounds like, "Okay, gotta take care of this shit." And uh, that's all he's doing this turn. All right, so I'm gonna do my move there, stealth if it matters. I don't think it does. And uh, I'm gonna pop a glowing cut at him. Okay. So I'll do eight damage. Okay. And I will shift back to this corner and roll for stealth. Okay. Very good. He is bloodied. And um, he's, uh, so you kind of catch him in the other shoulder. And he says, how, how, cheater, how? I saw your hands. <laughs> oh, and I get to slide him from now on because of the trick shot. Would you like to do that? Yeah, I'm going to slide him towards this wall right here. Unfortunately, you do not get a t attacks of opportunity when somebody is slid away from you, which would be a great way to exploit the system, but no. Basic melee attack with the torch. With the torch? Yeah. All right, yeah, so you uh, you burn him, and then you knee him in the chest, or in the rib area. And he's kind of backed up against the wall now. And he's bleeding, not in, not in a good way. Like, like there's, there's a good way to like bleed. There's a good way. Alright, Iron Wolf Charge. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> so that would be a miss. So he ducks underneath your charge. Okay, now he will swing. He'll actually swing melee at you. Since, you know, he doesn't have his weapon anymore. And you will duck underneath him. He will swing at you, Zach, and you will duck underneath his unarmed swing. Woohoo. Peter? Uh, so they probably can't hear it over the din of combat and the roar of the waterfall. There's going to be like a... Aah! As uh, Peter presses, presses his flaming hand to his wound, start cauterizing him closed. End of turn. Flying squirrel. Flying squirrel. So I'm going to start by moving quietly here. And what do what do I see in this big fucking room I'm in? That is it. That is it. Oh, that okay. That's the end of the cave there. That's just a large wall. Okay. Strange looking flagstones there, but you don't see anything else in the cave. Well, I guess I will use the remain or my combat action to 1 2 3 4 5 6 
Move up to, sorry, I gotta turn my dude. There we go. Move up to here. And that's it for me. Actually, I think I forgot to reload my crossbow last, last round, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, um... Well, I'm just gonna go with another basic melee attack. I'm just trying to finish this guy. Well, you said he's bloodied, right? He's bloodied, yes. Almost All right, bleed. I'm going to use Slumbering hit, Hurt. Um, so if I hit him, he will take an extra three damage since he's bloodied. Who's listening to Chinese TV? Fucking Brylock, dude. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's watching. Chinese soap operas. <laughs> Zach's uh, right, guilty so pleasure. Your right, so your... Your Unfortunately, that will not hit. Yeah. Any, Any move action on your turn? Yeah. So, so he ducks, ducks under it and you plant your, your fist, fist into the wall. And uh, now, I'll stay here. Okay. Cronus. But you roll a one and hit Zach. At least it's not a one. <laughs> Plus two, combat advantage. Oh. oh. Zach had combat advantage. That didn't get him high enough. 14 was the number. So he ducks underneath you as well. And you stab your spear into the wall. He's got his back against the wall and he's just fighting for dear life right now just to hold on. He's going to swing at you, Cronus, now. 21? Yeah, yeah. 21. Ain't going kill me, though. It's a right good sucker punch right there. <laughs> yep, so he ducks underneath and just, boom, catches you right in the chin. Oh, All right, right in the kisser. And then clanks as well. Uh, Peter is continuing to cauterize wounds. End of turn. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Uh, you guys got two, this. Three, four, five. I'm going to move to here. And just to be clear, there's nothing up here, right? That I should see. Right? Okay. Ah, another room. That sounds. That seems shady. Okay, well, I'm going to pop a gloaming cut. Oh! I'm going to kind of look and take note of that over my shoulder and be like, damn! <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> pop my gloaming cut at the at the goblin. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> That's enough. That's enough gold. Wait, wait, I want to use, I want to, no, I want to use my reroll. I want to use my reroll. Fuck that. Ah, yeah, it's much better. Much better. All right. Much better. Okay. Am I advantaged because I'm behind him? Yeah. Okay. We'll say that. Yeah. So five plus seven. So that's that is 12. enough. That is enough. So I'm going to pop him enough. right in the back of the fucking head. <laughs> and he's just going to... And he's going to sink to his knees. And he's going to say... Calrel and Lord Orcus, prepare my way. He's going to crash to the ground. And you guys somehow lived. Woo! No deaths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Anthony. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Cronus and say, oh, oh sorry about your dog, man. <laughs> I don't think he, I don't think you. Yeah, so combat is done and all. Yeah. Yes, combat is over. So I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna be like. Don't take any of that without me. And just start looting bodies. Start with the goblin. I'm going to take his axe and see what else he's got on him. Okay. So he has the two-handed axe on him. Um, he also... Um, he also has... Uh, 12 gold pieces and 48 silver pieces. 
can I roll he stealth has, to, or can I can has. I try to subtly take it so that <laughs> hopefully no one else sees it? <laughs> you can try. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> now hold on, don't they get a perception check to see if they notice now? <laughs> Unless they're actively looking like that nigga's about to steal something, I'm a well, I mean, there's passive 21, isn't it? So that would be a roll off. So, no, that would be the flying squirrel can sleight of hand that. <laughs> He also has. <laughs> he also has a, a small silver key, and a scroll. I'm gonna take the key and the scroll and kind of hold them up, and I'm gonna look at the scroll and be like, "Where's the mage?" Mage is walking over to that caster that he uh, completely incinerated, and uh, is gonna. Kind of search the corpse, see if anything managed to survive. What corpse? You incinerated him. <laughs> Look at the pile of ash and cloth, just to see if anything magical might have been on his body that survived the fire for him to scavenge. Nothing uh, salvageable. There's some burnt clothing and some burnt hair left over. All right, so I'm just gonna slowly make my way into the room, still kind of uh cauterizing one of my wounds okay um okay so do you show the scroll to anyone um i'm holding yeah i'm holding the scroll i'm gonna kind of wave it at peter and be like hey there's a scroll well actually i i haven't opened it up yet so hang on let me see <laughs> i'm gonna open it up and <laughs> what, what do i see if you look in your journal in three two one now peter you will also see it Alright, so reading it, I'm gonna kind of uh, wait for the sound of the door to pass. Uh, I'm gonna kind of look at the squirrel and uh, lean in and whisper to him, uh, kind of questioning, keep keep it quiet or let him in. I'm like, ah, we should uh. What, I was, I, I'm gonna hand. I'm gonna offer up this roll. I'm like, you should take this back to that Lord Patrick guy and let him know, or don't. I don't know. I'm not good at diplomacy. Okay. So yeah, P Peter's gonna take the scroll and roll it up and uh, carefully look for an un unstained portion of his person to tuck it away. Having all having, right. Having done that, I'm gonna make my way over here and loot Kobolds. Also, um, you guys, uh, you find some uh, some chain mail um, in the leftover pieces of iron tooth, and um, it is a extremely well made um, piece of uh, chain mail there, and um, definitely better than anything that you guys have. Is oh, chain mail the squirrel comes back. Is, is chain mail technically medium or? Uh, I believe it's considered heavy. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to look at the chain mill and I'm going to kind of say, that's that's really well crafted. There's a blacksmith in town. I wonder if the spy had it made for him. Smart. I'll hold on to it and I'll show it to the blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> unless one of you unless one of you needs it. No, I'm straight, dog. <laughs> that was completely in character. <laughs> I can't heard any of this. What? That's so. So, but no, since nobody's arguing against it, I'm gonna go ahead and take the chain mail too. Okay. And then I'm gonna make my way down and loot kobolds. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Peter has come up this way, catching the glint over here, and uh, so I'm, I'm I'm going to do because we just dealt with say a caster dude. I'm going to do an arcana check to see if I can sense any kind of like magical warding or anything uniquely magical about this uh, treasure trove that might potentially link it to Dovin Stall. All right, so yeah, don't worry about making an arcana check. Um, like I told you guys, I'll, I'll call for those. Um, 
But you don't you don't sense anything uh, particularly magical up there. Although you do uh, you sense something uh, some a slight aura coming from that chainmail. Yeah, so I'm going to turn around and uh, gonna kind of kneel down at the chainmail and you know put a hand on it and. I guess try and delve it to see if I can discern any kind of specific property. Um, you're not particularly sure anything about it right now. You think it would take a little bit more time to kind of glance over it and see what it is? Uh, so I'm going to look at but, uh, Brylock and Cronus and be like, there, there's something innately magic about this uh, enough that I, I, I didn't even notice it until I was I was trying to see if there was any kind of warding going on uh, do we want to head back to town now or do we want to try and figure this out before we get there so we know what we're dealing with also um, up here in this north uh, east corner you see a treasure chest it doesn't quite look like that with all the gold pieces but there is a treasure chest up there um, and upon inspection you do realize that it is locked what are you trying to discover uh, Peter I just I'm, I'm trying to just figure out what's magic about this mail that's gonna take you uh, the time of a short rest to do that uh, I'm fine with that I'm just gonna I don't know. Set my stuff down. I don't know. I don't go there a lot. I'm hop down on my knees in kind of a resting state and put my hands on the mail, close my eyes, and just start reaching out and trying to figure this shit out. So you discover this is magical armor. um, And it provides the wearer with a plus one to AC, (laughs) plus one on endurance checks, and as a daily action, they can regain hit points as if they used a healing surge. This this is dwarven chainmail plus one dwarven chainmail. That's while I'm sitting there sensing it, uh, kind of half open my eyes and look up and be like, uh, "Yeah, there, there's something. I, I don't know. It's it's, it's demonic almost. Uh, I'm I'm trying to figure it out and uh, kind of stay there." I'm going to move up into this uh, shiny room that I saw and uh, look at the chest, you know, fiddle with it a little bit. And uh, I'm going to... uh, Try the uh, key that I picked up from the goblin on it. What a great thief. You turn the key and the lid pops open. Inside... I'll whisper to you. <laughs> nice number. <laughs> okay, so it says in the book. I'm gonna, <laughs> fucking potheads. I'm gonna I'm, uh, I'm gonna take that out and uh, kind of make my way back to the group and be like, "Hey guys, I found something." <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of get a stupid grin on my face and be like, "Hey, open your hand." <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't open your hand. I'm gonna look at Peter. Is he still doing his meditation thing? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of just, you know, like uh, open up this bag and do some counting, and then I'm gonna drop like a hundred gold next to Peter. That that's gonna catch his attention. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's going to kind of open his eyes again and look down at the 100 gold, look up at Bruce, and uh, be like, hey, you know what, uh, squirrel? <laughs> this is the first time Peter is referring to him. You know what, uh, squirrel? You're uh, you're not half bad. I'm going to look over at uh, Brylock and be like, what about you? You want to open your hand? Oh, he's he's gone. <laughs> we'll say yes. I assume okay. he probably. All right, when, when he opens his hand, I give him 100 gold, too. 
<laughs> I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look at Curtis is like, well, I've got two hands. <laughs> I'm gonna look at Curtis and be like, what about you? You changed your mind yet? How many seeds I could borrow a hundred gold? <laughs> Just think of the berries. I mean, I don't know anything about your obsession with berries. <laughs> All right, I'll take some. All right, so I'll give him a hundred gold as well. Okay. Is there anything else you guys would like to do before you leave the cave? Oh, uh, I'm 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 gonna send me like uh, well, I think we should uh what time what time is it getting to be at this point? Uh not not real yeah. life. Not real life. In the game. Um well it, it was probably around midday, so it's probably mid afternoon now. Each turn was only six seconds, so <laughs> that whole fight was probably maybe fifteen minutes. It's getting late, guys. We shouldn't travel in the dark and uh I don't know about you guys, but I'm in fucking pain. I say we set up camp here for the night. I agree. We'll gather some firewood. Say so. And maybe, you know, we should check on the other two. They've been sitting outside this entire time. <laughs> at this, Peter's gonna open his eyes fully and look up at, uh, at them and be like, and, uh, we didn't find anything in here. They didn't help. They didn't earn their keep. I found nothing. <laughs> Lost my dog. <laughs> Where's Anthony's <laughs> I'll, flip him, I'll flip him an extra gold piece. Buy another dog. Or tame another dog or whatever it is you druids do to get your dogs. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> All right, so you guys set up camp inside the cobalt layer for the did, night. Oh wait, did, is is the chainmail safe to hold or something, Peter? Peter. Peter. I have a contract. <laughs> that broke me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Peter go look back down at the chain mail and uh kind of envelop and envelop it in his elder Jethril flames and just be like, uh I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is about this, so uh I'll keep it kinda closed off so something doesn't happen to it and uh he just kinda stands up holding it. Fine by me. But, just so you know, I won't be able to accompany you back to Winterhaven. I have a contact there. His name is Bruce Parks. <laughs> He'll be able to get the money that I'm owed for this to me. You guys will hang out here. We'll say that Amazemo and Alaria move in there, uh, into the cave with you guys to stay the night. So, you all rest for the night and tend to your wounds. Uh, the druid probably went out into the wilderness and found some weird kind of salve to put on your shit. Stroked some shit while I was out there. <laughs> <laughs> now, Arcalius, you did cauterize your wounds, and so you are going to have some pretty deep scars um, from that. That um, You can uh, allow the druid to try to heal if you'd like to, but uh, if you'd like to add flavor to your character, you don't have to. I was about to say, fuck that. Bitches love scars. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, you get your shit kind of, uh, you know, squared away. Um, Alaria, after a night with the druid, um, oh, 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 oh. working on her to heal her, she is able to walk effectively. And oh, I um, was working hard. <laughs> and I'm sure that the uh, bard wrote a uh, tale about how you guys won. I, I want to take another second and say good fucking job to all of you guys because <laughs> honestly, like that was very impressive. <laughs> I, did, I was just throwing them at you the way that it came and you guys uh, worked your way out so that was pretty cool. Um, you guys, like I said, take the night um, as the morning. Uh, nobody comes to bother you. Um, you don't meet any other um, creatures or the cobalt and any other cobalts come back. You had a very quiet night resting atop that imaginary pile of gold up there <laughs> um, and make your way back. Um, it takes you uh, a couple hours to get back to Winterhaven. I'll ping you all over back back to the Winterhaven screen. And um, I'll 
center you now. You, uh, as you approach Winter Haven, um, some children come running out to you and uh, of all ages um, and are kind of cheering and, and running with you as you walk in. Um, battle scarred, um, bloodied. Uh, each one of you took some significant hits. And so there is blood um, on your clothing and armor. Um, but uh, you get a very warm welcome uh, entering the front of the city. Uh, the guards there, they salute you and bow their heads. And there is just kind of like a victory cheer, you know, um, on either side of the road as you march into town from all of the um, from all of the uh, villagers and uh, townspeople present. Uh, are we assuming that you are Bruce again? I see your name is Bruce. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bruce Let's Hart. take a moment, call a timeout, and see how did that happen? Well, when everybody awoke in the morning, Bruce would have rejoined them at the cavern and the flag <laughs> squirrel was gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is just you hear what's going fucking on? ridiculous. <laughs> Janice said when when you awoke in the morning, uh, the flying scroll was gone and Bruce Parks was there. <laughs> in strangely bloody clothing. <laughs> that is all. Center, you were yeah, in your yeah and I did game? I did try to explain away the uh, the bloody clothing. One, you know, one, I, okay. Hold on one sec. Can you hear what he's saying? What Janice is saying? Okay. So Janice, go ahead now. Yeah, whenever I did arrive, I said, oh, sorry, I couldn't keep up with you guys. I got into a scuffle with a bear, a really, a really big bear. <laughs> so, you know, I hope, uh, I, I hope uh, at least my, uh, you know, my guy showed up. Did you guys meet the flag squirrel? <laughs> yeah, pretty badass, right? <laughs> Peter's going to roll his eyes, but, uh, you know, he's got that hundred gold, so he ain't going to say shit. <laughs> it's good to see you've sort of join us, Bruce. Um Perhaps next time you'll be a little more careful in nature and it won't bite back. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to watch out. <laughs> what? Okay. So is everyone cool with that? Is everyone accepts that? Is what happened? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, too fucking dumb to know. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let him have his delusional fantasies. <laughs> okay, and we'll assume everyone that's not here is in the same condition that they were. So Valeria believes you, and the bard it thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> and uh, also the half orc is just like, you're coming back. He's like, Bruce, you're alive. I thought the squirrel <laughs> killed you. <laughs> exactly. Um, so anyway, you make your way back to Winterhaven. It's a celebration. You guys have. Uh, yeah, they're they're excited for you to come back, and and you are bloodied, um, physically, and a little beat up. You're very sore from the last day, and um, uh, everyone's cheering for you. And um, <clears throat> a pair of guards meet you there around uh, three, which is the marketplace area, and they invite you. Um, they say, um, "What? You've made it back?" You are fucking right, we have. Silver's damn right. <laughs> and he's he's kind of taken aback, and he's like, well, um, congratulations and thank you. Um, Lord Padraig uh, is expecting you up in the, in the manor. Please uh, follow the trail and in, into the inner gate, inner gate and um, to, to his manor. Well, the flying and, uh, squirrel isn't here to accept your thanks, but as his agent, I'll be sure to forward it along to him. Make sure you tell everybody, flying squirrel was there. <laughs> um, flying, flying squirrel. Such a fucking toad. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means, but he's expecting you. So please, um, you know, please hurry. Can I roll a check to see if I realize that he's the flying squirrel again? <laughs> All you have to do is nod yes or no, Mel. I don't give any spoilers. You can try. Uh, and you've I'm, tried very I'm fucking hard. right. <laughs> you've tried very hard to get me to do spoilers and I will not do spoilers. Um so he uh, motions you along uh and you know people are cheering and stuff and um you all notice a uh, uh basically a middle school aged elf that uh, runs up to to Bruce and is waving and and hugs him around the leg and says uh, and starts whispering uh or not whispering, but kind of talking low to him. You guys can make That's a creepy. 
You guys can make a perception check to see if you hear if you try to hear if you don't, then that's fine. Middle school age Asher girls, man, they're my thing. Um, I will not allow you to take a uh, passive. You'll have to actively try. All right, then. So Peter will try. And fail. How about that? Chronos will here. It's pretty easy when your perception is plus 11. <laughs> right. I see all! <laughs> How did you get a fucking perception that high? I'm wise as fuck, That's dude. What they the say. nature. That's what they say to you. <laughs> I'm gonna give her a nod and flip her an extra gold coin. I don't trust that bitch. Chronos, um, this is what you hear. And, um... I'm be like, remember, little lady, kobold necklaces. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> that sounds perverse as fuck, man. So she takes it and and she says, "I told all my friends. Fuck. I knew it would." <laughs> it makes sense now. The you collecting fingers and teeth and fucking. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm gonna give her my big, uh, my uh, this, this this huge bag. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, make these into necklaces. You get a few. I'll get you'll get a few extra. Child labor laws. She grabs the bag and just kind of she grabs your bag and says, <laughs> "Whoa!" <laughs> she says, "Anything you say for gold." And she runs away. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in her. mind when you're older. She <laughs> 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 just, just kind of goes oh, about I mean, it. You're a human with middle-aged. Are we talking like? For that's humans. what I'm saying. Are we talking like eighth grade middle school or like sixth I'm grade? Saying, there's a big difference. I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> for her race. I'm a bus driver. For her race, <laughs> you are a fucking pervert. But for her race, <laughs> for her race, so, um, that, I'm telling you, that's that's like early twenties human. Um, yeah, years. that's at least twenty three. I'm saying that she's got that's some, your age plus seven. She's got some budding breasts, and you're not really <laughs> sure whether that hair has color yet or not. Why are you <laughs> describing the breasts of an eighth grade looking child? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to make it clear. What hair are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Cronus, would you like to respond to that situation that happened to you? Not <laughs> the outer <laughs> That's all on Mother you, Bruce. I, I ain't going to jail over that shit. I'm going to pull Bruce close to me and say, did what work? Don't worry about it. Me and that girl have an arrangement. <laughs> doesn't, sound it. doesn't sound it. <laughs> Bruce is going to kind of realize what he said and then be like, oh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to give him a look and just be like, in my head, I'm watching you. <laughs> Always <laughs> watching. <laughs> okay, so I see what you did there. You uh, continue walking uh, through, the, you know, people cheering and things like that, throwing flowers at you, as you thought was strange, but I they, didn't. They, I didn't think that was strange. Yeah, they killed the flowers and threw them. <laughs> they at you. ripped flowers out of the ground. <laughs> they killed them. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be back on target. So you guys walk through the inner gate there, and um, there's a couple guards there that again salute you and bow their heads, uh, and you approach uh, the manor right there, and uh, you see Lord Padraig. Um, you can reference your journals if you don't remember what he looks like, and um, his uh, what you assume to be his wife and a couple kids. Uh, Bruce, one of them looks uh, strangely familiar, and... <laughs> That the sounds you weird. are making me sound <laughs> so fucking terrible. Okay, so would, Bruce is a creep. That's fine. Would your character recognize them or not? That's what it comes down to. He dresses up as a squirrel and <laughs> meets children. Dresses up as a squirrel. I need nuts. About nuts. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll dress up as a squirrel and bring them all the nuts they need. 
<laughs> that okay, that's horrible. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Janice, is this inadvertent or did you plan for Bruce to be a pedophile? <laughs> definitely not part it's of the plan. Janice, of course they planned it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That's you need, baby. All right, guys. All right. I'm roping this in. We're roping this in. Okay. All right. Um, so Lord Padraig and his family, um, they exit the uh, manor right there, and um, <clears throat> the building there is a uh, beautiful example of stone architecture, uh, where everything else seems to be made of thatch and uh, wood. Ah, um, the this manor is made out of metal. <laughs> And seems to um, be a two, three steps above everything else in the city. And Lord Padraig walks out and um, he says, Our heroes have returned. And he approaches you um, and uh, reaches out a hand to shake. Um, uh, I guess uh, Peter would probably be in the front. And uh, goes to shake your hand and says, Please. Um, tell me of your adventure. Have you cleared the cobalt scourge from our land? So Peter he does Peter's not hand. reach out. No, he doesn't. Peter's hands are currently full with flaming chainmail. Uh, he's going to look at Lord Pedrig and then look back at uh, his compatriots, compatriots, however you want to say it. Neither and, one of uh, those. He's gonna, fuck you. Uh, he, he's going to look at him and then look back to Lord Padraig and kind of bow his head and say, I'm going to have to leave the uh, storytelling to the others. Uh, we do have a bard, as I'm sure you're aware of. I'm sure he can sing you our heroic tale. Uh, I have business to take care of. And with that, he's going to uh, offer another deep bow and he's going to turn and make his way away from the inn or from the uh, town hall. Watching Peter walk away, Bruce is going to be like, okay, shake his hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick is going to say, okay, um, you, <laughs> adventure, uh, welcome. <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, wait. I guess your companion may have as, gotten hit in the head as Peter's a couple times. Walking away, I'm going to be like, wait, 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 Peter, didn't you have something that you needed to show this guy? Not that I would know. <laughs> gonna look back and again roll his eyes cause fucking squirrel uh, going to uh, kinda I just kinda got that. It for a second <laughs> I, I just got that as well and I'm so <laughs> I was like what the fuck is he talking about Ooh. Uh, he, he's gonna he's gonna kinda make a, a slight no and uh hope that that impresses upon him to uh no no we don't and uh he continues on his way away from the uh town there he'd be like okay the... then asshole <laughs> uh yeah i mean well, the cobalt clave is clear i think we earned our money or coins earned our coin he's gonna say very good have you um i hate to say this um but have you brought proof um, that you have cleared the kobolds. There's um, a... I don't. I don't question your adventuring ability, although I do know that there are bad people in this world, and I need to know that my people. And he kind of gestures to everyone, uh, are safe from the kobold threat. Well, I'll have you know, and you'll see this is. It's a very, very trendy thing, very popular a bit among the nobility. And uh, what, what, what was the town name? Fallcrest. Yes. Okay. Very popular among the nobility in Fogcrest. I brought tons of proof for you, and uh, you'll see them dangling around people's necks in the near future. Really? <laughs> and what kind of proof do you require from Cobalt Fing Lair? Fingers and ears. Lots of them. I, <laughs> I see. And he kind of looks to his guards and he says, well, um, trophies from Cobalt deaths are definitely welcome here in Winterhaven. Um, I I would invite you and your compatriots to a feast that I will be throwing in your honor um, here tonight at uh, my manor. So please, um, I would invite you to join me. There will be ale um, and any uh, any food stuffs that you require. Uh, you request, I will do my best to acquire and make sure are on my table, as well as your payment. I will I will uh, hand that to you tonight. 
<laughs> I'm say, okay, thanks, uh, Lord Pendrig. Oh. But I must retire to the forest. I'm always I down for a party. Like any any uh, any food before you go? I understand that. Um, you may have something in particular that you like. I'm very fond of berries. <laughs> Fucking berries. <laughs> berries. <laughs> he kind of looks around. And he's like, I I will do what I can to acquire um every berry sort from our local foliage. That is quite generous, Lord Padrick. Um. I will be returning in about nightfall. I must roam the forest and, and make sure that the evil has not moved this close. Okay. <laughs> nightfall. We'll have our feast at nightfall. He looks at Bruce. Uh yeah, I'm always I'm always up for there's gonna be drinks there, right? Of course. Of course. The finest. Excellent, yes. I will yes. empty my stores to celebrate the victory of the adventurers that have saved our town. Well, then I'll be there. But All I right. want to go get a fresh set of clothes first. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell this you've had a hard, a hard journey. Um, please um, remind uh, Sylvana in, in the inn that I have paid for everything that you require and... Um, uh, once once you are settled in, I will send for some fresh clothes and a warm bath. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, okay. I think uh, that's all we got for you until we get our payment. You're going to pay us, right? Yeah, you said that. We're going to pay. The night at the feast. Yes, the feast. We'll be paid. And if something were to happen to you before the feast... <laughs> Where would we get our payment then? <laughs> I will be safe. I guarantee that the oh, walls okay. are high, my guards are well trained, and now our cobalt threat has been taken care of. What is there to, to challenge me? Yeah, you do, have a, squirrel. you do have a dreadfully dull town when it comes to crime. <laughs> dreadfully dull in the area of crime is what we strive for. Yeah. And he kind of puts his hand on your shoulder. <laughs> says, Thank you again for what you've done for my town. Thanks. Cronus walked away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna and then turn and he make... says to the adventurers, and the crowd kind of roars and cheers for you all. I'm gonna so turn and dead flowers. Make my way towards the uh, inn. Okay. Real quick. Cronus has a new set of clothes, but it's made out of the skin of Anthony. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> Anthony lives on. <laughs> Reduce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can switch your character to dog skin clothes if you'd like to. <laughs> Otherwise, you all can feel free to uh, change what your character may be wearing um, in the area of, you know, if you're wearing cloth, uh, such as Peter and possibly Bruce. Um, other than that, the armor um, will be repaired for free um, at the cost of uh, Lord Padraig. And you will return to the inn. I, I suppose that I will have a little bit of uh, RP in between now and next Saturday. Gonna say yeah, I've got uh, I've got some RP that needs to be taken care of there. First, we will check and make sure. Um, is it okay that Arcalius has the chainmail? Is anyone opposed to that? Okay. Is that fine with you, Bruce? No one else has a say because they're not here. Yeah, I shrugged. So go for it. Okay. So um, we'll go ahead and fade out at that point. <laughs> 